Hey guys, my name is Ryan. I'm the CEO and founder here at Upkeep. So today we're going to be talking about condition-based maintenance. All right, let's jump right in. So condition-based maintenance is all about using sensors or instruments to collect real-time measurements. And these measurements can be anything from a pressure sensor, a temperature sensor, a vibration sensor, or even acoustic measurement. Um, we use all of this data on a piece of equipment to tell us when we actually need to perform maintenance. So looking at a workflow over here is really looking at the first thing that we need to do is start establishing conditional baselines. Then we'll install monitor or we'll install sensors to help monitor these, these measurements or we actually have devices that enable us to go out and take um, measurements. We'll start collecting all of this data and then we'll set upper and lower limit thresholds for baseline breaches. Once it hits a certain threshold, whether that's, you know, hey, we want to replace oil every 6,000 miles, or whether if the temperature goes above or below this amount, we'll generate a work order, perform the maintenance, and then we'll wait until the next cycle, until the next condition is met, which will perform maintenance. It's a lot more of a, um, it's a more detailed approach to preventative maintenance. So an example that I, I, I would love to go over is thinking about condition-based maintenance for a mileage meter. So we're all familiar with this. We've got, a chain, we've got oil on our car um, that we need to replace every 6,000, 7,000 miles. So condition-based monitoring and condition-based maintenance is about using uh, the specific equipment parameters and taking note of when we need to perform maintenance. So for this, we need, to perform, we need to perform an oil change every 7,000 miles that we drive our car. Every 7,000 miles that oil change comes up, that condition is met in which we'll go out and replace the, the oil on our, on our car. So this is, again, more, um, it, it's, it's a smarter way of doing maintenance versus just on a time base because we actually might drive we could drive you know, 7,000 miles in six months, or we could drive 6, 7,000 miles over you know, 18 months. But what we wanna do is perform that oil change regardless of time, it's based on when this condition is met of 7,000 miles. So a few benefits of what condition-based maintenance enables you with. It basically enables you to um, improve the equipment lifespan. So if you're performing condition-based maintenance, you're performing the necessary maintenance at the right interval. Um, this is gonna enable you and your team to improve the lifetime of your equipment. It's also gonna help you reduce the cost of maintenance. So very commonly on a preventative maintenance schedule on a time-based interval, we actually are overperforming the amount of maintenance that we actually need to do. When the thing that we actually care about is performing maintenance at a specific utilization. Condition-based maintenance enables us to actually reduce the cost of equipment maintenance and at least figure out, or at the very least, figure out whether we are over-maintaining a piece of equipment or under-maintaining a piece of equipment. Um, another thing that condition-based maintenance helps you with is really improving not just the utilization of your team, but also enabling you to better prioritize what you do and when you do it. Um, with a condition-based maintenance approach, you're really looking at what, is, what are the triggers and conditions that have been met and what are upcoming. We can look at it from a much more detailed perspective than just time-based. And again, the whole purpose behind performing proactive, preventative, planned maintenance is to reduce the amount of downtime that you have for your equipment at your facility and ultimately increasing uptime, increasing production for your entire business. So looking, talking a little bit about how condition-based maintenance differs from other types of maintenance, condition-based maintenance obviously sounds very similar to what predictive maintenance is, but they aren't necessarily always the same. Predictive maintenance is using the data and generating models to predict equipment failure versus condition-based maintenance is using benchmarks to tell us, hey, this is when we need to perform maintenance next. And it's not outside of just a time-based interval. 
thanks so much for watching today.